Hi everyone, it's Four Corners and welcome to a double Season 15 update video. Our first update concerns this brand new armor piece that they're going to be using for presumably the bad guys in Season 15. It comes in the form of being used for Thor's hammer in this cool little custom figure. First of all, that Thor Love and Thunder trailer, I recently saw it and it looks epic. I don't even care about Doctor Strange and all that stuff anymore. That's probably just my bias for, you know, characters with lightning powers. It's just sick but getting back to the actual piece it's probably going to be used for the crystal samurai and maybe a few other bad guys that are gonna borrow it it's completely transparent pink to represent those mysterious pink crystals we've been seeing all around those are supposed to be vengestone in another form so far it looks pretty cool i'm glad they went for studs on the back instead of sword holders because these can carry a lot of things if you put a clip on the back while sword holders tend to look a little bit thicker and they're very limited to only holding the sword so this looks better and it has more functionality that's a good direction for this armor piece can't wait to see this piece in another angle and actually in action our next piece of information is actually a release date for season 15 but before you get excited it's in korean so this broadcasting website called tooniverse they're about to finish releasing season 3 of monkey kid and i can't wait to see that season in english if you haven't caught up with monkey kid lately it's actually getting pretty good but now it looks like when Monkey Kid finishes up, Ninjago will start releasing its episodes on May 31st at 4 p.m. in Korean though. So here they're calling it Ninjago Dark Crystal and that's because in translation something got lost. The translation always doesn't give us the exact meaning. So this is just a vague idea of what the new season is going to be called. But it's enough information for us to know that they are talking about the upcoming Ninjago season and not some past season. Personally, I'm not gonna watch this season in Korean even if there's English subtitles because the season looks like it's going to be so epic and probably one of the best Ninjago seasons ever just based on what we've heard and I don't want to just get through this season but the first time I watch this I really want to absorb the full quality of this season. I know watching it in full HD for the first time is probably not going to happen just judging how these TV networks go crazy with the release schedule and how people record them and put them on YouTube. Hopefully it comes out officially in Cartoon Network in the US properly that's probably not gonna happen so even if I can't watch it in HD hopefully I can watch it in English properly instead of seeing it in another language and just getting through it instead of truly absorbing it for the first time comment down below what you're gonna do are you gonna watch it in Korean or are you going to wait it out I totally respect either decision because I know it has been such a long time since we've gotten actual Ninjago content and I totally get if you Seriously, cannot wait to see more Ninjago. It's just really unfortunate that Ninjago still doesn't have a proper grip over their release schedule. You literally have to be international to watch Ninjago properly. But thank you for watching a Season 15 update video. The armor was really sick and Season 15 is going to be even more better. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye